So I want to talk about charter guest Dolores. Uh, the first night they have a kind of a great Gatsby dinner and they ask you to join them, Captain Lee. I definitely had an inkling that she was going to be more than a handful. Dolores is drunker than a four peckered goat. We got to... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what wound her up. Liquor. <laughs> it may have been a contributing factor. And I kind of got the sense from the rest of the guests that she was wearing thin on them as well. Because she was definitely wearing thin on my ass. Oh, oh, look at that. Did I hear a general oh, alarm go off? I know, we can dress you up, but we just can't take you away. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so Good evening. much. I have a hard time hiding that stuff. I thought I I thought I did pretty well. Gotta get the water. Right now. Right now. Jane, Jane, can you come to the swim platform immediately, please? On my way. And somebody called me and said, Dolores is going to jump in the water. And then I saw that f you look in her eye. You are not getting in the water. If I have to come in and get in the water, yeah, it's I am going to be pissed. In. And you yeah, are not going to be happy. It. You are not getting in the water. Those are sharks, Dolores. You don't like sharks. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Sure as There she went. When you're chowing out a big, super expensive soup yacht and you have a drink, you know, people end up doing funny stuff. And, you know, she wanted to go for a swim. I don't really see the problem in it, you know. Um, I Honestly, if I was in a situation and I was one of the guests, I'd have jumped in with her. The only reason I didn't is because I probably didn't have a change of clothes for her. Dolores! I get the safety concern. Like, I totally respect and understand why Captain Lee was furious, you know? I get that. And she completely did not listen to him. And and he's the captain. And, like, I get why that was horrible. What's so wrong with this woman floating on her back on the moonlight in the water? Like, I've done that a million times in the middle. And I've done that in the middle of nowhere <laughs> without, like, people watching me. Anyway. If you're going to f*** it up, I mean, f*** <laughs> it really up. <laughs> And she did it. Check. Try to get free to really do whatever they want. But when it becomes a safety issue and you saw how angry Captain Lee was, it was a full on situation. The Caribbean, when it gets dark, and once you get outside that, that, that loom that we cast just from the boat itself, anything goes wrong. We're never going to find her. She can be hollering and, and we think she's over there when actually she's over here. Because you mm -hmm. have no, no sense of direction at all as, as to where sound is coming from. It's one of the most unsafe things I can think of. Do I need I to need jump, to jump in? in? Yeah, I think you should jump in. Quickly take off this. I'll go get her. Where is she? She's over there. Are you okay if James jumps in? He's got his um No. Microphone. Francesca wants James to jump in and, and help Dolores oh, out. Oh, hell no. And, <laughs> right. <laughs> no. What? No. What is, what is James going to do? I don't know what his abilities are. And now I've got two people in the water that I have to keep track of. Where I just doubled my problem. I don't think I was going to jump in because if I was going to jump in, I'm a weak swimmer. I think I'd struggle to get back to the boat myself. I love how she radioed me in like a professional circumstance, like I could add or be of any benefit in this circumstance. I think she basically <laughs> just called me over just to have a look. Yeah, I think Francesca may have pushed her in just so I'd take my top off and jump in and save her. You know. <laughs> we can all jump to these accusations. I don't care if she's her. a good swimmer. She's had a lot of wine to, to drink. She's drunk. You're right. I don't need dead bodies here. Can I have some bacon? You can't have anything. You need to get your goddamn ass back to this boat now. That, that <laughs> never has happened. I've never unloaded on a guest like that. Do you know that she'd asked me prior to me going down to bed, can I please have fish food? And I'm like, I don't think we have fish food on board. And she's like, that's okay. Just give me some bread. And I'm like, Okay, I'll organize some bread for you to feed the fish. She's like, yeah, I love to feed the fish. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you stepped over the line. I'm not going to tolerate this behavior much longer. I have paid a lot. I don't give a sh what you paid. Please don't ruin our time. Your charter just ended. As far as I was concerned, that charter is over. No amount of ass kissing in the world is going to make me change my mind about that. Now I've got a real good sandwich. So Elizabeth, you tell some of the crew the next day about uh, about your your kiss with James. Did you guys get in the uh, hot tub? Yeah. Yes. No way. Is it just you and James? It's just me and James in the hot tub. <laughs> and 
I don't know how this happened, but I guess we kissed. Yeah, my memory of that is literally like rolling out of bed and there's Ashley and Rob. I'm just looking at them like, <laughs> and they're like, it's almost like they knew. They're like, why are you so happy? And and I think I, yeah, I just, yeah, I just told them right away. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I figured they'd find out. So I wanted to just like put it out themselves. That really is the telling everybody. <laughs> I literally just been cleaning hot tub with James's jizz in it. Okay. And then the next day you had me clean your jizz out of the hot tub. I don't know what you're talking about. You f***ing said, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? Try and hide it. <laughs> Obviously it didn't happen. He didn't bang in the hot tub and I didn't clean out his jizz along with the mold and the skin cells and everything else that was festering at the bottom of that. Hold that on, it. how often do, does that jacuzzi get cleaned? Because you never f***ing cleaned it. <laughs> how did you sleep last night? Great, how did you sleep? Good, I had a, a good eight, nine hours. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. She'd kind of like boasted about it, being like, oh, me and James. And everyone was kind of like, well, duh, obvious. And then he'd come down the stairs and went into the crew mats and we're all like, <laughs> and he was just like, what? <laughs> you know, James is like, what? Do I look good? <laughs> oh my God, James loves any bit of attention. He was just like, oh my God, yes, they noticed. <laughs> were you surprised that James and Elizabeth got together? Not really. I think they're like so as vain as each other, you know, they're pretty into themselves and I think they make a good match. It would be weird if like, you know, one of us hooked up with like one of those guys, you know, it would be weird if like you know, an intelligent person hooked up with a silly, stupid person. You know? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs>Elizabeth, you seem to have, have told people about, you know, the hot tub, about kissing. He doesn't seem very happy. Does Ash know? I just ran all over my face this morning and they asked and I couldn't lie. Oh my God, like, tell me I'm going to get in trouble for having a big mouth right now. But I mean, everybody I felt like would have found out anyway. So I don't know, maybe we could have kept it our own thing. Maybe that's a regret I have. Maybe it's not. These are things I think about. Elizabeth, why do you think James was not happy that oh. you told other people? I just thought about it because maybe because he still wanted a chance to get with the other girls and he didn't want to be like a thing with me. And I'm realizing it right now. Damn it. I'm so naive. I just, I thought we, I thought we did have a, it's, I thought we did have a little bit more of a connection that he had with Francesca and, 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 and even Ash at that point. He had a really good connection with Rob. Yeah, true, true. Oh, yeah. I actually oh. quite, yep, right there. Oh, it's good sex. That's the hottest thing I've seen since quarantine started. There may be some rumors spreading around today. <laughs> just know that they are all false. <laughs> so does, does this rumor have anything to do with what you were doing last night? It's just a rumor. Hey, no mind, it'll go away. I knew it'd find out eventually, but again, to be fair, there's just there's a million things I'd rather talk about than me hooking up with a girl. So I knew it right away because a lot of times there's admission in denial, especially when James says it with a wink. <laughs> Look, if if someone comes up to you and says, "Don't believe any rumors about what you heard in the hot tub last night," uh, no, I didn't believe him for a second. <laughs> And actually, props to James because he never really he didn't he didn't tell. And you know how like gentlemen never tells. He didn't go around saying like, oh, like I banged Elizabeth in the hot tub last night, like stuff like that. Kept it really coy. I think he kept it coy, probably because he was being a gentleman. I think Elizabeth kept it coy because if Francesca found out, then she might have shot her. But yeah, I was not surprised at all. Like they vibed really well, and you know they're both kind of horny people, and you know if you find someone that you vibe with and. You bang, then go for bang. You find out during the preference sheet meaning that this group of charter guests are boat people. Tina and Mark Milani. 
they're avid boaters. They socialize at their local yacht club. They have a handful of fellow shipmate friends who will be coming along on the charter. They're going to be trouble. <laughs> Know it all. They think they know everything about everything. You guys have a boat. We all do. Oh, you all do. We're all at boats. That's great. You can get somebody with like a, you know, some Cracker Jack license and they think they, they're sailors. You know, they're not sailors. They're just weekend warriors. Most, you know, boat people, especially people who define themselves as boat people, you're kind of like, uh, you know, you're, you, you're talking about my life here. Like, this is what I do for a living. You know, it's not so trivial. As just as just being a boat person, like. And real boat people don't brag that they're boat people. Once these charter guests come on board, they seem to have a lot of requests. Plan so far, right now, is horseback riding. Yes. Ponies on the beach. Okay. Whoop, whoop. We don't want horses. We want to go to town and go shopping. No, we want a ponies on the beach. Ponies on the beach. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. Beach picnic or lunch here. Where do we go now? With the slide up. No, I mean it's so unrealistic. All that stuff was never going to happen. It's impossible. I mean, they're out there for pretty much two and a half days, you know, like half day, full day, half day. You know, you got one day, pretty much one full day to get everything you want in. Like that's, it's, it's, it's just not ludicrous. rational. It's just ludicrous. It's not a rational thought to think you can do all that in one day. It's just not possible. Oh my God, God yeah. We just got bombarded. Wait, they want to do it all at once. We don't have enough people to do everything all at once. Exactly. We want everything under the sun. And I got to do what my favorite thing to do i got to say no i mean you don't get to say no often on a mega yacht but when you do it just mm, gives me a warm fuzzy feeling i was like nah it was almost impossible to get through to her and get the work ethic that i needed from her i think honestly she might have been a bit miffed that none of the boys were paying attention to her i think that was a lot of the reason she had an issue with Elizabeth. <laughs>